in the fifth grade, I had three great passions. Nancy Drew, stuffed animals, and Jerome Wall. First, I have to explain about love at first sight. I walked into room seven, my first day of fifth grade, and there he stood, his eyes deep, rich color, a blue Play-Doh. At the blackboard, he picked up a piece of chalk and wrote, Mr. Wall. Then he turned to face the class. Good morning, class. My name is Jerome Wall. Mr. Wall took attendance, and when he called my name, I waved, here, over here. Jerome smiled at me. Bambi, like the deer, he asked. Like the other deer, one that sounds the same, but is spelled different. Unlike some of my girlfriends, I was never afraid to display my intelligence to men. Brown nose, Bruce Berger hissed from the back of the classroom. I turned around and stuck my tongue out at Bruce. Eat dirt and die, Bruce Berger, I said. As the weeks went by, I couldn't figure out how Mr. Wall felt about me. So one day, I decided to wait outside school and confront him about our unresolved relationship. I waited outside until Mr. Wall came and offered me a ride home. Mr. Wall, I said, as I coquettishly banged my rain boots under the dashboard of the car. I'd like to ask your opinion of younger women. He seemed momentarily stunned. Younger women? He laughed nervously. Unfortunately, just at that moment, we reached my house. Mr. Wall zoomed into my driveway at about 75 miles an hour. My books went flying into the windshield. Sliding across the seat, I took my math book from Mr. Wall and, accidentally touching his hand, received a huge electric shock. I was reminded of my mother's description of love. It's like a bolt of electricity. And I realized this must truly be love, the real thing. Static electricity, Mr. Wall commented. I know, I happily agreed.